Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Programming Algorithms. In this episode I want to talk about uh, a type of variable called an array. And first I want to explain why an array, arrays are useful. So let's say we had to record the age of everybody doing the class. The only way we could do it up till now is declare each variable to represent the age of everybody in the class. And then if we wanted to give them a value, we'd have to assign them like this. That's okay, but that's the old way of doing things. Now we have a new, cooler way of doing things. So instead of having to declare each variable separately, age 1, age 2, age 3, age 4, age 5, age 6, we can get rid of that completely. And we can replace it with simply this. So now we've got a single variable declaration that says declare an integer. That's a collection of integers. And there's seven of them in it. And instead of, instead of having to do the assignment like that, we can get rid of that and do the assignment like this. So this saves us an awful lot of hassle when we're managing large numbers. For seven, it might be possible to remember each of the variables, but if we were going on to a hundred or a thousand different values, this approach is so much easier to do. So this is what it looks like when we have an array declared. We've declared an array of seven elements. We'll put value four, two, nine, six, eight, five and two in it. So here is the array. It's a collection of seven integer variables. It is worth noting that we start at the number zero in an, in an array. So it's index zero, one, two, three, four, five and six. So if the array is of length seven, the, um, the, the index or the numbers go from zero to six. If the length of the array is n, then it goes from zero to n minus one. Once we've got an array like this, we can do all the sorts of things we would do typically with any other kind of variable. If I said print age two, it will print out what's number two in, in the list index value two is nine. So it'll print out the number nine. Now it won't print out the second value in the list, it'll print out the one numbered as two. In the same way, if I'm in a hotel and I say the ground floor and then the first floor, the second floor, the first floor is obviously the second level up and it's the same sort of thing. Um, if I say something like that age two gets the value of age two, let's say plus three, well, H2 at the moment is 9, so if we add 3 onto 9, we're going to replace the number 9 here with 12. So now H, H2, the third element of the list, becomes 12. As you can see there, it just squeezes in a little bit. So exactly the same as we would do with any normal kind of variable. If I want to um, count across the, the variables, the best thing about having an index with the, with the numbers in a box is if I have a for loop and I say for x in 0, 2, 6, I can say things like print age x, I can say add 1 onto age x, I can manipulate the array however I want. Once I've decided that the, 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 the variables are in this array collection, so an array is a really powerful way to manipulate values and variables. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.